Alright guys, my name is Viking Coconut, and today I'm going to be telling you reasons why Assassin's Creed Unity should be a movie. Now, that sounds like a very strange concept, but I'm just going to go straight out here. I could go on forever about this, but I'm just going to flat out tell you who should be what, and then after that I'll rant on about why. Um, so, we see this first assassin, or I'm just going to call him the first assassin, the guy with the bluer hood. And I think he already looked a crap load like Henry Cavill, so he should be played by Henry Cavill. If they were to make this a live action movie, which it would be great as a live action movie, I'll go through the reason why it could be a movie at the end. But first I'll just tell you these actors. Henry Cavill, he plays Superman in Man of Steel. Um, and just him, if he did like the more shaggy, like dirty look, because everyone in the 1500s was freaking filthy. Um, I think he could make a great assassin, especially since he already looks a ton like this blue guy we see. Okay, next, I'll go off first and say, the great thing about the Assassin's Creed games is that they don't really have age as a limiting factor for their protagonists. And the way I say that is, if we look at um, Ezio, or Ezio, or however you want to say it, is Ezio, I don't care, um, is that he is an older guy, like if we look at his beard, He's got the gray and beard going on. He's got the kind of the face wrinkles. He's like an older guy, but he can still whoop people like none other. Um, so if we kind of take that angle on, since there's four guys in this newest game, if we kind of take that angle and have one of them be an older guy, I think he would be best played by Russell Crowe, who was Gladiator in the movie Gladiator. And he was also Jarrell, who is Superman's dad in the Man of Steel movie. Um, and he's just like a super manly guy like in gladiator we see he can fight and uh, He's just got a super manly voice and everything and I think he'd like be a great like more experienced kind of elder Not like elder as an old fart of a man, but elderly uh, That's still the wrong word um, older just more experienced assassin um, If there were one other guy I would have him be for the older guy would be Liam Neeson who is in Taken and nonstop and he voiced Aslan in Narnia, and he's just like in a bajillion movies. Um, he's just like known as a super manly figure as well. So maybe him, Russell Crowe or Liam Neeson, I don't know, for the older guy. Um, next, it doesn't seem like we have an older guy in this trailer, but you know, if I were to make a movie, I would. You know, we're not even talking about any definite thing, I'm just going on whatever I want. Um, so next assassin, I would have be played by Benedict Cumberpatch, who was Sherlock in the series Sherlock and he was also Khan in the most recent Star Trek movie um, and he would add a good element of diversity through the assassins they're not all just like these super hunk beastie men he's more of like an intellectual actor at the same time he can fight and crap but he's like he's really masculine but at the same time he's just super smart and thinks these out things out just like in all the roles he plays you can just tell he's just like this brilliant genius and I feel like that would add a good kind of like different assassins that are not all monotone, you know, the same kind of guys. And lastly, I would have Daniel Craig as the last one. Um, this is kind of strange as well, but uh, I was kind of debating on this. I kind of decided these spare at the moment. But Daniel Craig, he is, if you don't know, he's the most recent James Bond actor. Um, I think they'd have to do some story writing adjustment um, to see why, because he obviously doesn't look French. Um, but, you know, to cover, he's British, but, you know, to cover as to where he's from or whatever. But I just feel like he, you know, he's got the manly bestiality, bestiality, you gross. Um, he's got, you know, just he's the manly beast of a guy who you'd expect in this, in his assassin. I just feel like he fits the role very well. So those are the actors I would have play and just reasons why this would make a great movie. One, the Assassin's Creed games are kind of repetitive. They're all great games, but they get old in the sense that they are all very, very, very similar to each other. Um, and then next, just the whole world that the Assassin's Creed makers have made is just gold for a movie. I mean, the French Revolution, which, you know, is about all these farmers and crap, like, they're sick of their monarchy and stuff, and so they just want to revolt and have their own government and all that, you know, epic buildup they can have with that. But combined with the plot twist that's not historical of the assassins and their organization and how they would influence, influence? <laughs> I can make up words, I don't even care. How they'd influence 
the outcome of this revolution and how they play their part in how this goes. So it, you can see just a million potential storylines just building themselves as you just think about this. And so Assassin's Creed Unity would just make a great movie in my opinion. Um, it'll probably be a great game anyways. Um, but yeah, I just saw the trailer and I was like, wow, this could be an incredible movie. I would have it directed by none other than Christopher Nolan, who did the Batman movies. He's done a lot of other movies, but those are his most famous ones, I'd say. Because um, he just he's really good at just taking any story and just making it freaking epic. Um, and then, of course, it'd have to have a great soundtrack. Uh, yeah, so that's what I think of this new Assassin's Creed game and why it should be a movie. If you have any comments or thoughts, just go ahead and put them in the comments. Or maybe we'll call it the thoughts section. But yeah, I've been Viking Coconut. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you later.